In a Fox 17 News health alert, a new therapy for people with autism getting results. Yeah, it's really exciting. After this treatment, a couple of Tennessee families tell us they have seen their children do things they have never done before. Fox 17 News Dennis Ferrier with their progress tonight. More drink. If you want to know what eight-year-old Chase Cruz was like before stem cell therapy, just look at his mom's arms. Bite marks so bad they left big scars on her body and on her heart. That's why I have tattoos on me to cover up the scars. A hundred million stem cells later, Chase is a different boy. You don't have to be a doctor to see the difference. Look at the before picture. Now look at the after. Even the look on his face has changed. He wouldn't give you eye contact. Man gives you eye contact. You can say um, he wouldn't give you, wouldn't like to love on you. And now his grandpa says, bring it in. And <laughs> he'll open his arms and here he comes in and gives grandpa the biggest old hug and squeeze that you would ever thought. As if all this isn't enough, Chase is starting to talk. What price do you put on a little boy saying mama to you for the first time? But it's mama, 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 mama. And it's dad, 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 dad. Sounds like you have a different son. Oh, if you met him before and met him now, he is totally different. You wouldn't believe he was the same child. And it just, I don't know, it just brings tears to my eyes. It just does. Yeah, it's amazing. Dr. Ethan Kellum explains the miracle of stem cell therapy. Yeah, so stem cells can uh, affect people that have autism in the way of helping with their language, social skills, and decreasing the behaviors that you don't want to see, right? And it does that by way of the immune system, so it's going to decrease the inflammation and help with the neuro connectivity. And so when things are connected and firing the way they should, people do better. Five-year-old Jameson Hayes is another autism patient at the Kellum Stem Cell Institute, completely nonverbal before stem cells. Listen to him now. What is the worst? What is the worst? What the other day during a storm, the wipers were going, and he just started singing wipers on the bus. And I was absolutely amazed by that. He puts on his own shoes. He is even starting to say his own name. We witnessed it. Who's that? Azores. That's right, it's Jameson. <laughs> but maybe the most precious thing of all to his mom, Emily Hayes, Go! is that he now plays with his brother and sister. So simple, so unbelievably important. It's just huge. It's monumental. Sometimes, like I said, it's just indescribable because there's just nothing but pure joy and excitement about it. Chase Cruz used to wear a helmet and scream. Now he watches movies in his grandpa's lap. The very definition of joy and excitement. And how could a family ever stop being delighted when their little boy talks to them? Who's that? It's Jameson. You're right. This is just a sample. The Kellum Stem Cell Institute has more than a dozen autism patients with 90% reporting significant improvement. A promising new treatment for autism. I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.